<clears throat> and we posted this in three public places, right? And on the website and emailed interested parties. So we're following the open meeting law. <clears throat> Welcome, this is March 27, um, 2023. And first we are starting with a special town meeting to discuss the town of Rochester voting whether or not to authorize cannabis retailers and integrated licenses. And this is, vote will be on May 2nd. And um, we're here to sign the warning on that and, and ask any questions if anybody has any comments or just to put it out there that this, um, we've had a request to um, authorize someone to have a retail establishment. And the first step of that is for the town to vote whether or not it wants to host that or not. And so, um, any comments? And Nancy? Depending on how the vote goes, if it goes yes or no, does that start, does it start the process immediately? Or are there regulations that <coughs> Um, where um, a retail establishment can be, or well, if it's if it's no, then it's just um, that's Overdone. a non, it's non no. starter. <laughs> if it's yes, then it goes to the planning board to see if the location that has been suggested is um, is going to work or not. If it's, it can't um, be near a school either. No, and, it can't. and the state. And the, the, and the process state. of the state, which I yeah. just said four months or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's, there's, um, so that this is the first, first hurdle. And as they, they approached the planning board about this and then said, well, <clears throat> first step, since the town has not had this um, issue come up and had a determination on it, this is the first step. Are there any other uh, uh, surrounding towns that, I, that you know of that have? Randolph, Hancock. Can't Bethel Brandon. passed it too. Bethel, I think. Bethel passed it. Yeah, I think they I all passed. He has a yeah, Randolph's up and running. Yeah, really? Randolph up yeah. and running. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Can, can, um, Martha has a question. Go ahead, Martha. Hi. My question is now, obviously, um, I heard just heard somebody say it obviously can't be near a school. That makes sense. But um, you said that they have to go to the planning board to see if their location that they're suggesting will work. Do you can you say anything about where this, the location is? It is it is it in the village or is it in another part of town like North Hollow or, or can you say that or? Um, it's um, it's not in the village. And it's, um, I think that we should just go with this first step just to, to, you know, have the discussion whether or not the town will approve it or not. Yeah. Okay, so am I correct that it's going to go on the, on the, um, the issue is going to go on the same ballot as the school vote, right? No, it's a separate ballot, but at the same time. Same time, excuse me. Okay, excuse me, the same time. You'll get two ballots when you come to vote. Um, and now, are they voting on the school vote by Australian ballot? Is that why I'm, am I understanding that correctly? We're going to talk about that a little bit. We're going to talk about that later. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. And um, okay. So if it's approved, then they go to the planning board to see if the location will work. And then it goes, you know, from there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sorry to bother you. But does it go back to the state? Does the state have I haven't even been to the state yet. This is this is the first step for them. Okay. Yeah. The first hurdle. Yeah. Is Can there a license involved, like a uh, liquor license? Yes. Through the state. It, it's a lengthy process <clears throat> for getting their state license. Right. So they, they have to come up every year, like you do a oh, yeah. you have yep. a license. Yep. Okay. Do we do that There's, through the town, or is it just is through the, the state? It might it might be just through the state. It's it's through the, can, the cannabis control board, but there is like um, a fee that the town does receive. Um, we we currently receive um, for a different type of license. This is an opt in, so there's only out of like six different licenses that you can apply for. Two of them require this opt in vote. The rest of them can just go through the cannabis control board through the state um, and they and because of that the town will receive a hundred dollars for each um, license in in our town can you say who it is, is it somebody uh, local? you can get them you can look online because oh. they're under 
um, different names, so I don't, I don't, I wouldn't know. Okay. Yeah. No, just who's ever asking? They're, yeah, they, the they, yeah, they do live in town. Okay. Yeah. And it should also be noted while we're having this discussion that um, there was a point in time when uh, some of the tax generated from retail sales was going to be distributed back to the towns. But we understand that did not happen, so the town will not be receiving any of the tax dollars from the cannabis. The, it's a 14% cannabis tax. And then they also have to charge the 6% sales tax, so it's a 20% tax. Yeah. It all goes to the state, and we get $100 from the fee. So, uh, so is back. there something about federal, the federal government being involved in this too, that the banks can't accept money from this? It's not uh, legal That's on right. a federal basis. So um, you, that's true. You know, if, it's, if the bank is FDIC insured, they, they can't do things that are still considered illegal. Um, you also would not, you're not supposed to go on to the Forest Service land and smoke pot. Um, so you, you do have to pay attention to federal guidelines. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Martha, can you not hear Pat when she speaks? Okay. Maybe so, we can move that closer to you. I don't know, but um, it seems like... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and you're on. <laughs> How's that? Anyway. <laughs> can you, how does this sound, Martha? Could you say something? Do you have a question, Martha? <laughs> She's on. Now you're on mute, Martha. We can't hear you. <laughs> this is fun. I, I, could, I, I could hear everybody else fine. I just couldn't hear Pat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. It's an ongoing problem. We're You're still very, very faint. I can barely, I can't, I can barely hear you. If that thing gets any close. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's weird. You're fine. Everybody else is fine. I can hear Nancy fine. She's behind you, but I can't hear Pat. Well, she just has a soft voice. She just has this dainty voice, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what, um... Okay, on a federal basis, cannabis pot is not legal. Therefore, it, banks can't take money for retail sales because it would be considered an illegal activity. Um, when you go into the forest, the, the national forest, that's federal land, so you, you can't go out there and smoke pot. Um, that those are the things that I was saying. On a federal basis, yeah, cannabis yeah, is not re is not legal. It's only legal on the state basis, and the state issued, as far as I know, I understand that the state has a fourteen percent cannabis tax that they charge, and then they charge the six percent state sales tax. So when you buy cannabis, you're paying twenty percent tax. And none of that comes back to the town. I, I just think the town should know that when they go to the voting booth. She's nodding. I do believe okay. she heard some of that. <laughs> Anybody else have any um, questions, comments? Sounds like a lot of hoops. A lot of hoops. And if it comes up for a license every year and you can deny it, no brainer to me. Yeah. But does the town have to approve the license, or is it the cannabis board? I, we don't know. You've got a lot of data know. there, but I don't know if we have a lot of data there, but I don't know <laughs> if it covers that part. <laughs> <laughs> but we could look into it. I think that's wise because if you have a control over it, you know the select board has control over it. And well, the, the initial thing is. It's like, you know, it's just another business. Well, the town could vote again to repeal that permission in the future. Just because you decide right. to allow it doesn't mean that's forever allowed if it doesn't seem, you know, it's... Um, so the liquor license thing is in the town? Yes. They still have to Perfect. satisfy state... Purview, okay. Yeah, yeah. state right. requirements, like, but yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> just... Yeah. Clarifying it. <clears throat> we have a lot of learning to do. Yeah. And is that it for um, 
to start this conversation, I think. Um, we'll just put it out there on the radar so people know that this vote is coming up and um, what it's about. And if there's no more comments on Zoom or in the room, I'd move to <coughs> close this um, special town meeting.